Welcome to this MapServe video tutorial, where I'll briefly show you how to order mapping from MapServe. To start with, you need to search for the location that you want. You can do that from the home page or using the search box at the top left, as shown here. You can search using a number of different options, including postcode, OS easting slash northing, OS grid reference, or latitude and longitude. I'm going to start with a postcode. Next, select the address that you want, and the mapping shown here should be centered on the location that you requested. You can fine-tune the area by holding the mouse button down and dragging it like so in the direction that you want, releasing the mouse button when you're happy with the area. Next, you need to select the area to order. There are a number of different options you can choose. If you want just a simple rectangle, just click the rectangle button. If you need to order mapping and print it out, then you need the paper size button, and that will allow you to order a certain area that can be printed on a set piece of paper at a set scale, so that the map will come out correctly. You can also use set area, which allows you to select, for example, one hectare of mapping. Other ways to select an area of mapping are also available here. You can also save a selected area by clicking on this option here. If you want to draw on the map before ordering, for example, if you're ordering a PDF format map, there are a number of tools here. For example, the Feature tool will automatically select the outline of the property of the address, while the Boundary tool will automatically select the geographic boundary of the property. Snap to Point is useful if you want to only partly draw around a property boundary, or the outline of the property. You can also manually add an outline using the Outline tool here. I'm going to start with the rectangle option. To select the tool, just click on it once, then move to the map. Click once and hold the mouse button down. Drag to the bottom right corner of the area that you want and then release the mouse button. You can fine tune the area by clicking once on the shape that you've just created and dragging it like so. When you're happy with the area, release the mouse button again. On the left-hand side, you can see the various maps for the location you've just drawn. This includes OS Master Map, which is the most detailed mapping, which you can see in the background here. This is available in a number of different formats, including for CAD and GIS software. We also offer a PDF, which prints out to a set scale, and PNG, which is a simple image file. In addition, we offer a variety of optional CAD format layers, including contours, building heights, freehold boundaries, listed buildings, and a national tree map. They will appear grayed out if they're not available for the location you've searched for. There are also other map options lower down in the menu, including aerial photography. To order mapping, in this case OS Master Map, all we need to do is click Add to Basket, and it will appear in the basket over here. And we can click Checkout to enter credit card or debit card details, and then download the mapping immediately in electronic format. We do also offer other ways to pay, for example by a monthly invoice. I'll just quickly show some other options regarding the other types of mapping. So, if you want to see, for example, a preview of the aerial photography, just click the Preview button and it will appear on the screen like so. Or for the smaller scale OS mapping, we can preview this again by pressing the preview button. So, hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching.